this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a mail opening today. I just got this in, and if it's what I think it is, it's a Kickstarter reward that I got um, over the um, original art. Stop, hold it right there. As I was looking through these tokens, I was really curious what card can create each one of them, and there's several that are really obscure. So I'm gonna do a video later pointing out all of the different cards that could create these tokens in case people want to build decks with them. But I need your help in identifying a few of them, and I thought I'd turn it into a fun contest. During my next patron pack opening, I'm going to give away an Eternal Masters pack opening and a Shadows Over Innistrad pack opening to whoever identifies the most cards in order that could create the tokens from this video. I'm going to approve comments pretty quickly. I do a spam filtering on, but I should be able to tell you if somebody has done all of them. If nobody can figure out all of them by midnight on July 5th Pacific time, I'm just going to take whoever had the most. Good luck with these. I know somebody out there is more knowledgeable about magic tokens than I am and should just be able to cruise through this. There's a few of them that are a little odd because a few of the proper names have been changed a little bit. So if you can even get those, that's a huge bonus. Good luck. Magic tokens. Super happy about this. This is one of the coolest Kickstarters that I've seen in a while, magic related. Um, I actually reviewed the tokens on the channel here and just super happy that they hit so many stretch goals. Um, the level that I went for basically has one of all of the tokens. Pause here for a second, or I'm gonna add a little bit of light here. Here we go, we got a little bit better light going on. Oh, this looks beautiful. So wonderful. So classic art tokens Kickstarter. Oh, beautiful pointillist artwork there. So all of this artwork is in the public domain. I'm a huge copyright um, nerd, and it makes me really, really happy to see somebody using public domain artwork to do something so creative. Oh, this 3-3 beast token is going directly into my mono green EDH sideboard. I've needed a token for beast within, and that's just too cool. Beast, bird... Black, blue, citizen, clue. Oh, that's a really cool, that's a very nice clue token right there. Multiple clue tokens. Oh wow, that's a piece of artwork I hadn't seen. Beautiful. Colorless, copy. Devil, Elemental, 1-1 one, one Elemental, several different, Elmer, Emblem, Giant Teddy Bear, <laughs> Goat, one for each of the colors, Kitten. <laughs> Monk, paper, plant, zero, one. Oh, Avenger of Zendikar. I need about 40 of these though. One for each color, that's interesting. Looks like paper, rock, and scissors are also here. Shelly, soldier, spirit with flying. A oh, beautiful piece of artwork there. Really, really nice. Vampire Hunter. Warrior. White. And then we've got a full set here of 108 tokens. Get this open and see what's in there. Box was just packed. Angel. 3344. Assassin, Avatar, Bat, 
bear. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> beast, another beast token. Very nice. 4-4 four, four beast. 1-1 one, one bird. 2-2 two, two bird. 3-4 bird. Cat. Oh, White Sun Zenith comes to mind right here. Cat soldier. Perfect one there. Centaur. Citizen. Cleric. Copy. Self-portrait there on Van Gogh was nice. Core ally, Night Watch. Core soldier. Demon. More demons. There are lots of demons in historical artwork. Dragon. Very, very famous painting there. Pegasus and Andromeda. Princess and the Dragon. Well, most of this artwork is extremely famous. Ooh, these Elder Scions are really cool looking. Oh, Klug Art Altars looks a lot like this piece. Does some beautiful stuff. Probably have to do a video highlighting and stuff at some point. Great Wave. Mental. Something else interesting about these pieces of artwork. Um, it's well worth looking up the original and seeing how they shaded or cropped or the decisions that they made in putting these tokens together. Got some more elementals here. Elephant. Elf Druid. Elf Warrior. Experience. Plus one. Fairy Rogue. Oh, Bitter Blossom, too cool. Germ, all over the place for the living weapons, although Batter Skull is best known. Goat, Goblin, Gold, Golem, Graveborn, Horror, Human, Hydra, Illusion. Insect, lots of insects here. Oh, very famous classic artwork there, St. George and the Dragon for Knight. Acolyte, Cobalt, Legendary Wolf, Lightning Rager, Manifest, Merfolk, Merfolk Wizard. Minion. Minion Demon. Oh, Monk with Prowess. Very cool. That'll be a vintage favorite. Morph. Mad Liege. Octopus. Ooze. Pack Rat. The Mice at Work Threading the Needle. Plant. Nice Van Gogh piece there. Poison Counter, the Death of Socrates, Rat, Robot, <laughs> American Gothic for robots, that's funny. Nest one here, Rook, and I missed a rat too, Sand, oh, I'm grabbing more than one here. Sand Warrior, Sapling, Satyr, Surf, zero one, Sliver, Snake, more snakes here, uh, Soldier, Spider, one two with Reach, Spirit, Spirit. Lots of cool spirits here. Red Squirrel. Storm Counter. I like this idea. Having some type of a physical counter to keep track of where you are in the turn storm count. That always comes up in Legacy. Thopter. Thrall. Vampire. More vampires. Warrior. 
wasp, wolf, another wolf here, worm, more worm, different worm here, the different sizes of worms, and the last one there being zombie. Actually kind of tough to find zombie is in classical artwork. Well, thank you guys. This has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech. Just did an opening here of the classic art tokens. A really cool Kickstarter, very nice tokens. I also know that they're making it out to some of the GPs. I believe they're gonna be down in GP Portland. Um, I look forward to meeting with them and getting a few shots while I'm down there. Uh, very cool project. I recommend checking it out. Also, don't forget about the contest. I will be watching the comments diligently and seeing if somebody can nail all of these. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.